YouTube today. Finally making the first video to start my YouTube channel. I'm nervous. But uh, no, so quick rundown of me. You know, my name is Nick, if you don't know. Uh, from Houston, Texas, born and raised. Uh, grew up out in Hockey, Texas for a while. Then I moved down here to Cyprus. And uh, I like it, man. I like it. Um, I just got out of the military. I uh, did my little first contract and decided it was not for me. And you know, just chose to get out and start my life. You know, on a new road and see where things go. But mainly why we here is you know the car. Uh, I've been surrounded by cars all my life. Uh, my grandpa, my dad. You know, really everybody in the family. Mainly my dad though. That's, that's the main man right there. Uh, but yeah, I just been surrounded by it. So you know. I was just born, you know, shipping gears, you know, came up out of there already. But uh, yeah, let's get to the car, man. All right, we're gonna start off with a quick walk around of the car, you know. So this is a 2012, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite body style of the first gen colleges. Um, don't get me wrong, the 1314s are really clean. There's still some stuff on the 13 and 14s that I love to put on here. Uh, like the, you know, color match side molding, the rear bumper. But other than that, this has always been my favorite. You know, I, I think it's really clean. It's some. It's it's the first gen. You know, it's the first gen of the Coyote. It's the first gen of the you know Gen One platform, and you know nothing gets better than having the original. Uh, so first things first, man. You know, cosmetic wise, it's got the off through two fascia with the splitter. Probably my favorite part of the car. It gets complimented all the time. Uh, headlights. I went with the ten. 12 premium headlights. I'm gonna say 11 to 12. Yeah, I don't think they were premium yet on 2010, but 11 to 12 premium headlights. I got those built by 5 0 Motorsports. Y'all should go check him out. He does fantastic work with headlights. I'll be sure to put them in the description. Um, but yeah, he did his thing with those. Uh, grill that is a California special grill. Um, it's real sleek. Still gives it that factory look. It's not nothing too crazy going on. Uh, so, oh, I got the Raxium. LED side markers, those are really clean. Where my keys at? I'll show them off real quick. There they go. But those, those are probably another favorite of mine. The, the side markers, man, they, they really make that thing pop. You know what I'm saying? But uh, next, we're getting to the wheel setup. So these are the SV drag wheels from LMR. Uh, 17 by four and a half in the front, with the 15 by 10 in the back. Uh, tire setup that is a 28 by 6 by 17 Mickey Thompson Sportsman in the front, which those are really heavy and I don't like them. Uh, in the near future, I am going to go to a Bosch Ply in the front, so that'll be that. Uh, tire setup in the back is a ET Street R 275 60 15, and for those that know, this is 28 front and rear setup, uh, which is by far the setup to go to when you're running 373s on these cars. So I get, I get in the, you know, the setup drop check later. Move around to the back. Uh, first things first, I got the 13 and 14 tail lights, fully tinted. Uh, when I first got them, I just had the inserts with the, you know, reverse lights on and everything else. I just had those tinted with the red still showing, but I was like, yeah, I kind of want to be fully blacked out. I ain't trying to see nothing. So I got them fully tinted, got the bumper inserts so it wouldn't have that ugly gap in there. Uh, that is the true fiber deck lid. Um, I kind of wish I would have just had the hood uh, shaved and just have the original trunk there or I went with a black RTR deck lid. But true fiber is, you know, it's clean. It's a nice little touch. Uh, you'll see why when we get to the interior. Um, but I did cut the rear valence. You know, all you roll racers and, you know, any really big racing anything like that, anybody that really races, that has a coyote ends up doing this at some point but what that does is just helps reduce drag and obviously gives it a really clean look man um i don't like that box down man that eval box but i'm not gonna get that ep apparently this thing watching you know we got some stitches on here uh the plate the plate is probably my favorite and i get a lot of questions about this so if you're just looking at it what does that say you don't know i know let me help you uh, you ain't ready. What that means is you ain't ready. You is not ready for this boat on stock on block gen one when you come to Houston. That's all I'm gonna say. Just kidding. Don't beat me up. Uh, 
my other most favorite part, and this is probably the most complimented thing on this car, is this Roush three-piece spoiler. Um, I personally did not like it when I first got the car. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, I was in love with the GT 500 wing. It's just I knew I really wasn't gonna do too much because when you install this spoiler, you do have to drill a hole in this quarter panel right here and bolt it in. And obviously, you have to take that off with the GT 500 spoiler. I would have had a hole, and yeah, that's that. Um, next is the Roush quarter panel window louvers. Uh, I didn't know how I felt about them at first. It was really like a, a trial and error kind of thing, but once I put them on, I fell in love with it. Um, I do have the Roush slide splitters as well to go with that beautiful splitter in the front. Um, yeah, that's that's really it, man. That's the you know, walk around the car. Uh, nothing too crazy. It's real plain and simple. It's my favorite. I don't like really doing too much in the store. Um, so yeah, let's get into the interview. All right, there it is. You see it, red interior, red and steering wheel, everything. Uh, this is probably the thing that sold me as far as when it came to being in the market for one of these. Reason is because uh, my first car, I had a 1987 Mercury Cougar, which if y'all know what that is, it's pretty much a fox body and sheep's clothing, it's like a grandma's clothing. Uh, but same color scheme, it was black, had red interior, but everything was red in that car. Carpet, dash, everything was red. And I was like, I gotta have it. And when it came to me looking at these, I seen they had the red interior, and I was like, that that's something that's a must, that I have to have it. And here it is. So, you know, I thank God I came, you know, came across this car, and, you know, it's been good to me ever since. But, uh, yeah, it's got the, you know, red interior, steering wheel, door inserts. Uh, does have a couple of true fiber things in here, the radio bezel, you know, the window switches, door inserts, you know, door locks. Um, I do have a center console for it. I just haven't gotten around to put it in yet. Um, but all that's going to be carbon fiber. Uh, the window switches. I mean, the mirror switch, excuse me. I forgot about that. But other than that, that's it. You know, interior-wise. And yes, it's full interior for everybody that was always asking or wondering. I did have a Kirky in it, though. I do have a Kirky for this car. Uh, I took it out because... The Kirky gets uncomfortable after a while, and I kind of miss the comfortability. And you can't go wrong with you know running people, and you know you say you got full interior. So, and it's red, it's red, it's pretty, it's beautiful. Roll one is down. Oh my god, it's got red interior. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, other than that, that's it for the interior. Yeah, that's it as far as the interior. Uh, I'm gonna come back out to the outside of it, so I can get y'all run down the drivetrain. Uh, so it is a UT2. It is built by Ben Calamore, just a stage one though, so don't go crazy. Um, it has a Ford Racing drive shaft, aluminum drive shaft in it. Uh, and the rear end is built by David Sauls over at Sauls Performance. Shout out to him, that man is amazing. Um, I'll be sure to put him in the description. But yeah, he did good, he, you know, he, did, he went crazy on this rent. He's got the welded axle tubes, uh, even locker in it. Still has stock axles, but I did the extended ARP wheel studs. Um, everything's beer more, so lower control arms, up to control arms, spherical bushings. Um, like I said, he welded the axle tubes, he welded the lower control arm relocation brackets to the rear end, so everything is stiff, nothing's gonna come apart, you know, it's, it's there, it's ready to go. Um, it does have a Ford Racing uh, sway bar in the back still. I do eventually want to go to a BMR anti-roll bar, because I, I don't, I've had it for rolls. You know, it's really hard to come about. I mean, come buy some rolls. Wow. It's really hard to come by rolls out here. Unfortunately, I've, I've had my few runs, but now I think I'm gonna start really getting into bigs. Pretty heavy. Um, so, I wanted to go with the anti roll bar. Um, I made it look pretty. It has a Ford Racing dip cover on it. I'll show you guys real quick. can see it that's that's it um looks pretty nice under there you know bmr pan hard bar bmr pan hard bar support bar um, yeah that's it nothing too crazy but uh yeah and as you can see yes it has dumps on it 
those are Herfirth Aluminum Racing Dumps. Uh, it's a guy on Facebook. He does amazing work with aluminum. Makes, you know, full exhaust systems, mufflers, resonators. Anything you want, he got it. Um, so, setup. Setup wise, let's get into that. There it is. Everybody's been waiting for asking if we ain't known about it yet. So, this is a CJ car, but it's literally just a full bolt on E85 car. That's it. No, no cams, no built motors, no none of that. What everybody's thinking, no, I'm not spraying. There's no plate in here, there's nothing up under there. You know, nothing. Nothing crazy. No, no plumbing, no nitrous lines, no nothing. This is really just a full bolt on, genuine bolt on E85 car. So, that is a ported. Cobra Jet Manifold, ported by Brett Barber. Um, it's got the Ford Racing Monoblade on it with the 5 inch Rev Auto intake. Um, don't laugh at me, but I got $130 eBay headers. Best part about it. Uh, but they do the job though, you know. They I, Really, only other headers I wanted to look for was Cooks, because they sound amazing. They're 1 in 7 8 headers. But I didn't, I just wanted to really try out the little eBay headers thing to see how it was, and it really performed just about the same honestly but uh you got really nothing crazy man uh, so like i was saying before everybody thought that this at the minimum was a cam for it. so yes i did keyword did have cams for it i had bought the comp cam stage three cams for it um uh, boss 302 valve springs with the MMR oil pump gear, the crank sprocket, Innovators West uh, crank damper with the MMR lightweight water pump pulley. Um, yeah, I had, I had really got everything for it to be a cam car, but I decided when I got into labor because I wasn't here at the time I was overseas still. Um, labor, I just don't think it's worth it, man. I, I really don't, just for, you know, cams. Cams really do rate these cars up, especially if it's a CJ. So, you know, for all you guys thinking about it, you know, definitely do it. I just personally don't think that it's worth it, to be honest. Um, if I was going to do that, you know, I, you know, want to do ported heads or even go as far as a built bottom end or just a Gen 3 short block or a Gen 2 just to handle more power. And, you know, I can still have the cams and if I want to go boost, I can. But just for cams alone, man, I don't, I don't really think it's worth it. But yeah, that's that's really it as far as you know, motor wise. You know, it's got the long tubes on it. They are the they're basically built like pipes. So they're the one and three quarter step to one seven eight. Go down to the collectors into an X pipe that I had built for it. Uh, then they go straight back and it's dumped at the rear end. Um, like I said, they're the Herfirth. I knew it was real pretty, real nice and pretty. Nothing too crazy. Pretty tame. It's not too loud or nothing like that. Um, yeah, that's it, man. That's, that's it as far as motor-wise. Nothing special. Um, yeah, that's it. The thing that everybody always asks me is, what's done as far as weight reduction? And, uh, weight reduction, as far as that, excuse me, some slowness over there. Uh, weight reduction that I got done to this car is, yes, it has a K-member in it, BMR K-member, uh, still stock A-arms though, uh, so nothing crazy. Uh, I do have the front bumper support, tubular front bumper support. Um, I do have a radiator support. It does not have a front sway bar on it, which by the way, there's no difference with it on or off to me, at least for front runners. I have, even when I did drive it with my 19s on it, I didn't really feel too much of a difference, but yeah, I don't drive crazy. So yeah, that's it, you know, front end wise. Oh, it does have a lightweight battery in it. Don't look at that. Uh, that's, that's a good deal. Got that from buddy out here. Gave me a deal on it. Um, it has a drive shaft in it. If you want to count that, the drag pack. Um, took the exhaust hangers off, obviously, because I don't have full exhaust anymore. Uh, that's, that's it really man it's really nothing too crazy uh i do have a crooked floor like i said so i'll throw that in occasionally take all the seats out uh, but other than that that's really it i keep the door panels on i don't i don't like the tin can look and that's why i really don't like taking the seats out because i don't like that gutted look i don't i don't i hate it, it looks ugly um if i can eventually i want to get the rear seat delete you know kit for it 
throw the Kirky back in or have two Kirkys in it. And then of course, with the red interior, I will get the red seat covers for the Kirkys. Uh, but that's later down the line. Uh, but yeah, man, that's it really as far as weight reduction. It's really nothing too crazy, you know? Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's it, you know? Just, uh, hold on, Doug, J1. Y'all stay tuned in though, it's gonna be plenty of more videos of this thing, man. This is a good start. You know, I've always been wanting to do YouTube for a long time now, and uh, I really couldn't do it before because, like I said, when I was in the military, I was here and there, everywhere, and it didn't have time really. And plus, the car was sitting up in storage, I didn't have a car. I was overseas for a while. And, uh, but, you know, we're here now, and, you know, this is it, so you know, here we go. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think about the car, you know, in the comments, you know. I think it's ugly. You know, like it. Let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. But if I didn't, or if I have more questions, you know, you know, let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. If y'all got any questions, you know, anything like that, you know, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, follow me on, you know, Instagram at stock five zero underscore. Uh, I'll put it down in the description below. But uh, yeah, you no, know, let me know what y'all think, man.